Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up, and share it as it helps the channel grow. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe Unconditional Love, The Answer to World's Ills By Angel Viornito Jr. April 8, 2022, 10.59 p.m. Unconditional Love of Self, Others, Nature, Mother Earth is the Cure, the Healing Power that can provide peace in our illusory world. Imagine humans from the advanced civilizations of Atlantis, Lemuria, Mu and before it those ancient civilizations, they create fiery wars and fight and kill to this day. During our evolutionary process some men were exposed to dark elements to give Earth experiment meaning for revolving beings desired by all races from the universe and a world of forgetting from whence you came. In truth many of us are volunteers to have a feel of these unique evolution to ascension after which you are a trained teacher for other evolving planets. With forgetfulness in tow in this experience after birth to seven years old, Creator's unique evolution experiment exposes us humans to dark and light. If you are here now, you are fully qualified to be a glorious evolving participant as others were not prepared to be apart from where they volunteered, unqualified. Separation is ongoing at our planet and a perspective of who we really are is in order. Atlantis masculine, Lemuria feminine authority while Mu has unknown imbalances that destroyed these civilizations improper for their growth. Mu beings are known as creator gods kings and queens humans worship copied and duplicated, while logical humans desire physical proof and see for themselves to believe personalized miraculous deities. India's religions tell it all with three major deities worshipped. The ancients who foresaw their civilization's destruction within themselves immigrate to Inner Earth. We are created from highly advanced races of the universe. Inner Earth known to old and civilizations has been visited by modern men by Admiral Richard Evelyn Byrd Jr., October 25, 1888 to March 11, 1957, was an American naval officer and explorer who had his inner Earth experiences known to a full consciousness while us above with partial consciousness controlled mostly by the dark cabal. We are enslaved made to suffer the rigorous life of poverty and fear with very hard lives imminent till our times. These events happened from 800,000 plus years of difficult life till our days now, being ended by source with outflow of intense energies from the central sun. Beliefs change humans on their existence aspiring to acquire ascended master's ways now till ascension is attained by individuals evolving. Our false beliefs made us to worship personalized God. From archives long forgotten perspective the solar system initially with four water planets, Mars, Venus, Maldic and Earth the first three were devastated with Earth as the only unique water planet existing. Worst for Maldic, is turn asteroid belt as a result of nuclear wars we see today with meteors falling non-stop and huge comets threatening our planet's existence even portrayed by writers for Hollywood movies. Astronomers this moment say we are passing Alcyone of Pleiades a period of around 26,000 years orbiting the Milky Way galaxy exposing us to intense energies from the central sun, other suns, stars and galaxies through the intervention of source. The truth is God provides cleansing and light programming energies to prepare humans for shift to higher vibrational frequency. Volunteer Brothers and Sisters Saint Germain, Yeshua, Buddha, Mama Mary Muhammad, came to earth to teach love and heal but humans made them personalized gods, directly enriching made wealthy their thousand religions from member donations. Christianity made inroads as Christ healing with his innate love as taking up to his higher vibration the person being healed, thus healing is done and complete. Limitations are unknown at higher vibrations where our light brothers and sisters dwell. Purity of heart begins with self, touching the infinite light within the soul, your son, allowing you full access to powers within your high heart. The world is moving fast and darkness is eased out by Supreme Creator after a long reign and control of humanity to accelerate majority of humans to awaken within, awareness preparations for the shift. Live within the moment and learn to live in peace within and love ourselves knowing we are one, we are whole, unity consciousness, everything. The truth within your heart as you seek it within will tell who you really are. Humanity these moments of assistance from higher realm beings of light emissaries should start learning to ride in the flow like a river of life, accept and receive light energies overflowing earth. Get fear and toxic people out of your system. My 20 years of sustaining my physical body after a cardiac arrest slash attack made me realize how to be gentle, care, nourish my body, cardiologist Dr. Sy prescribed vegan, reduce weight to 130 pounds, diet with no animal meat, reduce intake of salt, sugar and oil. Truth is these are eating habits of our ancestors. My 20 years new lease on life converted me to turn to silence, meditation and settle within my heart, and that means no Facebook, reduced phone, nor mainstream media in my routine. With a very new lifestyle, new diet, 
exercise and simple living, my thoughts opened the merger of heart-mind, soul with the divine mind and taught me to relax, meditate, be at peace and love unconditionally others. What we do is reflected back to us. I reminisce youth with love and caring memories with father, mother and grandma since childhood living near the sea, mountains and prairies that bolstered easy adoption of a very new life. I retired from active professional consultancy and 16 hours work ethics but still accept lecture series to share experience. Brother Yeshua and Mother Mary made a great impact on my life from faith and Lieutenant Bishop Alfredo Aviar, blessed, was a childhood mentor. The greater impact is on March 12, 2007 where Christ inculcated faith, hope and love within me, guide me with nature, new visions and creative perspectives all the way. To sum it up, the soul leads on top of our minds and our whole carbon shell bodies as soul resides at the Sacred Heart, who is our inner light, a sun within, guiding us with our lives. Start unconditional love from your high heart, the repository of your powers and connect with your soul who is always on top of all human actions as you create your routine vibrations. Be fully aware of living from the heart as you love and care of what you vibrate. Accept and embrace your desired vibration with unconditional love then shift to that good loving feeling at the higher vibration of your desires. These are all done with visualization, prayers and imagination. You are shifting to a higher frequency. Love is always the answer. Divinity is always within merged with heart, mind body and soul, the divine mind and power of humanity. Love and Light, Angel V. Ornito Jr., about the author, Angel teaches love, light and field of unity consciousness, assist with other funds to generate livelihood in industrial estates at C-slash-me and organize corporations creating jobs, share knowledge as faculty or officer at universities, boards and associations. Angel is MBA, CPA, A. Link at eornadodra at gmail.com or connect at Barnes and Noble, Zlibris and Amazon.com. Knowing the Infinite Creator, or ebooks and articles at the net.